hello students welcome to my channel engineers academy kindly subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed my channel yet now i am going to solve this problem 1285 in this problem we are given that the flight path of the helicopter is it takes off from point a is defined by a parametric equation which is x is equal to 2t square meter and y is equal to so we are given x of t function and y of t function right so if i write so this x of t function is equal to 2t square and if i write the y of t function here so this is 0.04 t cube so we are asked to determine the distance of the helicopter from point a that is from the origin and the magnitudes of its velocity and acceleration when t is equal to 10 seconds right so we have to find the position of this helicopter from the origin and we have to find the velocity and acceleration magnitudes. So now to find Vx we have to take one derivative right so Vx will be equal to x dot and that will be 4t and then Ax will be equal to we will need to take another one derivative right so this will be x double dot so then this will become 4 right and now if we take one derivative of this so this will become y dot and this will be the velocity component in the y direction so this will be 3 into 0 0.04 t square and similarly if we take one another derivative so then this will be a y which will be equal to y double dot and this will be 2 into 3 so this will be 6 into 0 0.04 t right so now if you want to find the position along x after t equals to 10 seconds so that will be x equals to 2 and we should put t equals to 10 so this will be x now if you want to put y if you want to find the uh, position of the helicopter along y right so we have to put t equals to 10 in this equation so this will be 0 0.04 10 cube similarly to find v x after 10 seconds this will be equal to 4 into 10 so this will be equal to 40 and this will be meter per second similarly ax is constant right so this ax is 4 meter per second square and similarly this vy will be equal to 3 into 0 0.04 into 10 square and similarly this ay will be equal to 6 into 0 0.04 into 10 so now when we solve all these equations so then x comes out to be 200 meter and when t is equal to 10 seconds so y comes out to be 40 meter right so the position of this helicopter from the origin a will be equal to let's say that that uh, vector is r right so the r magnitude will be 200 square plus 40 square and this will be under the root 2 right and if you want to represent this vector r right so this vector r will be from this point a to here right so to this point and this r will have two components one component is x vector right so that x vector will be until this point right and the magnitude of this x is 200 right so we will write 200 right so this is 200 meters and similarly along y this will be 40 right so this is that y vector right and this is that uh, position vector right so position vector if we represent this position vectors uh, as a vector representation so then this will be x i plus y j and this will be 200 i plus 40 j and this will give us the magnitude of this vector so the position of the helicopter after 10 seconds from the origin is 204 meters right and now if you want to find the velocity magnitude so the velocity magnitude will be equal to vx square plus vy square under the root 2 so we will put v and vx is 40 right so this is 40 after 10 second 40 square and vy is 12 meter per second right so this will be 12 square so this will give us the velocity magnitude and similarly the acceleration magnitude will be equal to ax square plus ay square under the root and a is equal to so ax is 4 right so i will write 4 square 
and a y is 2.4 right so i will write 2.4 square and we will take under the root so velocity magnitude comes out to be 41.76 meter per second and the acceleration magnitude comes out to be 4.66 meter per second square 